Hey, so what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is December 7, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. So it says here, a major escalation is coming tomorrow. Guys, this is big breaking news. The JEWS want to take control of the Temple Mount. I want to read this part really quick if you can please share this video this is very important uh very important to share this video we got a lot more information coming out to group all right i'm gonna skip the name to group ultra nationalist organization together with others numerous temple mount uh groups are set to hold a march through the most quarter of the old city that great city jerusalem tomorrow night to call for the re-establishment of jews control over the temple mount Man, it's gonna be really hot tomorrow it's gonna be really really hot tomorrow i'm talking about a metaphor here guys my next video you're not going to receive notification. You have to come back to this channel. My next video, UN invokes Article 99. Peace and security. That's what they're calling it. Peace and security. They're also going to send 1,000 UK soldiers out there. Peace and security. Remember what the Bible said. When spoken of peace and, peace and security, then sudden destruction shall follow. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Guys, I just posted a video on this channel not too long ago. All right, it says right here, Queens, New York, alert. JFK Airport, uh, major oil spill. 10,000 gallons of oil spill. Uh, again, it's very important to check that out. We only uh, got 600 views in like almost one hour. That goes to tell you that the platform is doing a good job hiding our stuff under the rug. Usually in one hour, we get like three to 4,000 views. But the problem is a lot of people didn't get this video notification. So do me a favor, please continue praying for us. Uh, it's happening to other Christian channels too. Uh, I follow someone, ha he has over 500,000 followers here on this platform. And he made a video. He's uh, urging people to please pray for his channel. So again, we are witnessing a great event when it comes to Watchmen, when it comes to, you know, us Christians, uh, just putting out the info that goes, uh, that lines up to, uh, to scriptures and how to be saved, not by prepping or, you know, hiding in an underground bunker, but by giving your life to Christ, your soul is very important. Salvation is, is, you know, Jesus is that, uh, salvation, the good news that bring uh, the kingdom of God for those who wants to repent and uh, again, we, you know, receive free salvation. So it's very important uh, to please continue to pray for our channel. Very important to uh, share the video if you can. So follow me on Twitter. I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support. Thank you so much. I receive your letters. Uh, again, I receive your emails and uh, thank you so much, you know, for, you know, supporting the channel. In these tough times of real living so again um if i was a hip-hop artist let's say you know if uh i was like i don't know little wayne or something or tupac and making all this crazy hip-hop videos the platform is gonna be like good job yeah we're gonna share your stuff and almost videos are talking bad about women's so no. i don't again i'm not like that i'm not like that Again, uh, you know, I see myself being a righteous man and uh, giving the good news, and that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that right there is a big no-no to the you-know-who. All right, we're going to go with this one here because the other one is really small. I can't barely see that word. I, I can't. I mean, I got nothing against Turner, but 
that article i mean just those words are really tiny all right so once again guys huge event tomorrow so the event coinciding with start of the the festival i'm gonna skip the name and i truly apologize i'm doing it because of the platform again i'm getting hit hard here guys entitled march of the Maccabees will proceed through the look at this Damascus gate and into the most quarter it will then pass by the offices of Jordanian uh, which uh, again Waf, Waf, uh, which runs the Temple Mount and will finish by ramp to Mograbi gate which is the entrance to the Temple Mount for non moves located just outside the plaza of the western wall now the holiest site at which jews are currently allowed to pray guys all this is going to lead to uh the return of jesus christ i do believe so you know and this is why it's very important for us not to pay attention to the rapture but to spread the good news and ask the kingdom of christ Give the good news to the people. We know Jesus is coming. We know that the time is near. What is our job? To sit in the front porch and just wait for Jesus? Or to go out and talk to the people out there and share the good news? Because believe it or not, there's a lot of brothers and sisters out there that, that are very, very greedy. It, again, they're out there just sitting down and saying, I'm just waiting for Jesus. I just want Jesus to come. I want him to come right now. Wait a minute. There's many, many people out there that need to hear the word. They need to hear the word. Many of them ha hasn't repent yet. So sometimes we could be a little greedy, but uh, it's, it's all right. You know, it, you know, we make mistake, but we have to recognize and say, wait a minute. You know, the rapture is coming. We know that, but we have a duty, a responsibility, and that's to share the gospel. All right. So uh, that's what Jesus recommends us go out and make disciples. The goals of the march, as stated on the platform uh, for the event, are to honor the memories of the ID, you know what, who have fallen in the event, the HAMAS T group, and the current event, eject the rock from the Temple Mount, and restore full JEWS control in this region, the Great City. Excuse me, the Great City and the Temple Mount. Now, I do believe, guys, a lot of people might not agree with me, but I believe that this here is the mystery of Babylon. Now, a lot of people is gonna say, no, Louis, New York. No, Louis, it's America. Once again, America is not a city. America, again, is a, is a country, all right? So it's not a city. Um, so when you speak about the mystery of Babylon, the mystery of Babylon speaks, speaks about a city being burned with, fi with fire. So it cannot be a country. It has to be a city. So some people say it's uh, New York. Some people say it's America, which again, doesn't make no sense. Uh, some people say that it's the, um, it's the Roman Catholic church. But remember, if you read scriptures really well, it says that great city being burned with fire. What's that great city? Well, again, the great city has been mentioned in the Old Testament. And this is the one here, the great city right here. That great city that many prophets has uh, walked in. Even Jesus walked in that great city. This great city where many were martyr, uh, martyr. God's people were taken out in this area right here. Remember, Jesus was not too far. Uh, you know, he was crucified not too far from this region. He was crucified. Calvary that is not too far from that area. So I do believe that uh, the uh, the mystery of Babylon Could be that's so now keep your eye on that city keep your eye on that city All right, and keep your eye on this one here because we can see the fall of that city We can see the fall of this temple mount which uh, again could uh, activate possibly the rebuild of the temple uh, the third temple and you guys already know the Bible does speak about a new Jerusalem coming down from the heaven um, so it says here the organization behind the march is called Sons of Mount Mo uh, Morai. Um, a blank, <clears throat> excuse me, new temple mount, a group run by an individual by the name of I'm gonna skip their name, guys. 
So the X account for Sons of Mount, you know what, expresses praise for the late J.E.W.S. Uh, rabbi and has numerous images of the temple replacing the dome of the rock on the temple mount as well as images of some from aerial strikes raining down on the most shrines currently situated in the holy site Ooh, look at that oh Ooh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. You gotta take a screenshot of this one here. Look at this. Man. Man. Another uh, participating organization in the Kahanis, the JEWS Truth Movement, whose chairman, I'm gonna skip the name, was formerly the faction secretary of. You know who, the J-E-W-S, and Catch Party, and the founder of the ultra-nationalist Alt, Alt Ma, and the movement advocates for the removal of most holy sites on the Temple Mount. Now, the rebuilding of the temple there, and the forced transfer of anyone who V-O-T-E-D for the, uh, for the Arab political parties and the Nasets. Hopefully I don't get hit hard, but you guys already know. They love me in this platform. They really love me. All right. So, and don't forget guys, the red heifer, the red heifer is going to be next year. What a uh, perfect timing for all this to, to happen. All this is happening. And a lot of people are saying, and I just read something on war news 24 seven that Mr. Benjamin, he knew, he knew that h-a-m-a-s was going to strike he didn't do nothing he just let it happen so that way he could go in so again guys i mean that's information coming out uh from war news 24 7 i do believe wsj even reported that too all right so the blue gave approval for the march to go ahead but had restricted it to 200 participants and also refused a request by the organizers to go up to the temple once again, a former Jerus uh, Blue uh, told has told uh, Army Radio he cannot understand why the Blue approved the march. I was thinking about that too. I was just thinking about that. I'm like, why are you gonna approve it? Again, it seems like it seems like the same thing that happened in January. Remember here in the Sleeping Giant when the Blue allowed all the four or five supporters to come in. Hmm. So the Blue is going to allow them to go in and this is very important i agree with this person right here the former you know the blue chief has told the army radio he cannot understand why the blue approved the march arguing that the route through the moose quarter is an attempt to anger and inflame the area yes 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 i just feel like maybe it was it was meant to be maybe that's their plan. That's where we at right now. So it's gonna, uh, yeah, uh, there's gonna be an event tomorrow, and uh, we're gonna keep it updated on that one. But I got another video coming up. Notifications will not be sent out. You have to come back to my channel, guys. I'm, uh, I'm posting videos left and right. So uh, I post video every hour, every hour and stuff like that. So. Uh, multiple channels so make sure you follow me in my other channel the link will be in the comments box i'm posting all those video links but uh, just looking at that get ready so we're going to see a lot of changes to come and now the sleeping giants are going to get involved oh by the way the sleeping giant just uh uh announced that they're going to be sending military uh to uh to guyana yeah in south america it's going to be uh Military exercise drill. At the same time, you guys, Venezuela and all those other lands. Mm -mm. So once again, the sleeping giant just find themselves in another event. The sleeping giant is all over the place. We are witnessing, we are seeing it, we are living Bible prophecy. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.